ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage, Ms. Fanny Shakur Davis. My visit at the University of Central Arkansas has been a gift, actually. I first of all thank all of you for inviting me here, and especially you, Vanita, that you would really thank you, because we needed the spirit and the energy, and the, the students here are incredibly warm, intelligent, intelligently warm. <laughs> There were no silly questions. You know, the conversations that I've had with, you know, at least 10 different students has been enriching for me. It's been a great experience. It makes, renews my faith in the direction of young people in this country because sometimes it's very depressing when we see the way that young people's minds are stitching and headed, you know, but I, ca I just got a lot of faith. I think the question about the sexism was an important question. And it wasn't because of sexism, but it was because, and notice that that was, I think for him also, because that was about other things, a lot of other things that, you know, um, kind of creeps around that issue. I have work in my 65 years, I've done a lot of anti-sexist work. But at the end of the day, at 65, I discover that all of it ends up being the same. What I need to know is who I am. I need to know what I stand for. I don't want to be in a group because it's anti-sexist. I want to be in a group that is pro the establishment of human and the thing. The, the problem for us is that we sometimes can be so anti what the problem is. I want us to be more pro on what the solution is, you know what I mean? I live, God gave me breath. I feel that no one has more right to breathe the air than me. And it's basic like that for me. I have a right to breathe here. I have a right to, to um, create here. I have a right to be heard and to be seen. That's what I want to do, you know. So I think that it's important to have a lot of movements for things like that. But I think individually, individually, it's important that each one of us understand who we are. What are we for? We are, as a foundation, our foundation is the Tupac Amara Shakur Center for the Arts, the Tupac Amara Shakur Foundation. What we are going to do is we are going to commit to every year doing a homage trip to Central High School and bringing our young people who are the ages of the men and women who went to Central High. I think that I want them to see that young people their age change the world with their courage and their clarity and their um, desire to get an education. When I am around students who are intelligent and thoughtful and challenging, I learn so much. And as a 65-year-old woman, I grow. I stay, um, my mind is challenged to keep working. I think it's like the best um, defense against Alzheimer's. <laughs>